to an unboxing of this item. This is a pen. And dun -dun -dun. it is a pen that I have never used before. And so I'm, I was actually quite excited to try it out. Now this pen was sent on loan by Apple Bone. And this is not a paid video. I just thought you would enjoy seeing this because I don't think there's a whole lot of information about this pen out there. So it is a cross pen. Wow. <laughs> this is the packaging, very simple. Comes with like foam to hold the pen in place. It came with a screw in converter and two cartridges. Now Cross has really interesting shaped cartridges and converters. That was probably out of focus, but you don't need to see a cartridge in detail. That's all. Packaging is like, you know, whatever. You know, I don't really care about the boxes, so. The pen is this. Now, this is the Cross Peerless 125 Platinum Metalist Fountain Pen. Wow. These pen names and their long wordings. Holy moly. Now, this also comes in a couple other colors, like a black lacquer, like a gun metal color. Um, this is the platinum one. What is interesting about this pen? Well, I mean, if you know Cross, you know they make pretty tame fountain pens, like very tame designs. Um, the nibs are reliable. To me, like they're not super exciting nibs. I like a very unusual writing experience. So for me, it's like, you know, it works, but it's not thrilling. But this pen celebrates the 1889 debut of the original Cross Peerless pen and the introduction of the iconic Cross Century line in 1935. The pen is platinum plated. The gold details are 23 karat gold plated. There is a so Swarovski crystal with a brilliant faceted cut in the finial. And the most interesting part of this pen, in my humble opinion, is the nib. And the nib is an 18 karat gold nib, but it's made by Sailor. Now, you probably know that I'm a fan of Sailor pens, so that is the reason I was excited about trying this out. Like, to me, this pen is not like, this does not appeal to me. The design, the shape, the, um, the blocky, like, not blocky, sorry, um, the thick, like, the chunky cap relative to the barrel is not my thing, but that's okay, because a lot of my pens are not other people's thing. But what I will say is it's super comfortable. Really, like, really smooth seams. The threads are really smooth. Um, the balance is really good. It, it does post super secure. Then it becomes a little back heavy, but if you have larger hands and you like a substantial pen, it's really nice. But the highlight is this wicked nib. And I say that because sometimes you just need a nib that's gonna work. And this one, it definitely works. Doesn't dry out, it seals really well, and it's a really pleasant writer. So let's take a look at how it writes. This goes for about 289 euros. You know what? Not a terrible price, considering it's a gold nib, it's um, sorry, uh, platinum plated with gold plated trim. Not terrible, I don't think. You could do worse. There are more expensive for less perceived value out there. So thank you to Applebaum for loaning me this pen. If you would like, you can purchase one or other things on the Applebaum website using the discount code that is below or on my blog, depending on where you're watching this. Uh, no commission, just a sweet deal for you. You get 10% off, excludes Mont Blanc. There you go. Let's take a look at how this Cross Peerless 125 Platinum Metalist Pen writes, shall we? Hello, welcome to the writing sample portion of this video of the Cross Peerless 125 Platinum Metalist Fountain Pen. So it's a very interesting pen. It has the like classic cross tapered barrel, conical top. Um, it's pretty wide. It's a bit girthy for me. It's not my favorite pen design, like the model itself, but if you have large hands, you might find it really comfortable. And surprisingly, I find it super comfortable even as is. The, um, the finial has that Swarovs Swarovski crystal on it. Um, it's got a screw-in cross converter, so it's very secure. There's no rattling, which I like. Like, sometimes converters rattle. This one does not. 
And the nib is a sailor medium. Now, with the Sailor, like 1911 and Pro Gear series, the nibs are pretty firm, but with the King of Pen size nibs, they're a little springier. Now, I think this is just like a 1911 size, but it writes like a King of Pen nib. So let's take a look at what I mean. It has a bit of feedback, but it's super nice. Like if you need a nib for a reliable writing experience at work, you uncap it, it's gonna work. This is the one. Just exquisite, outstanding performance. Beautiful. I think it's really nice. The writing experience, the way it feels, it's just really pleasant. And so unassuming, like you would never suspect it would have such a pleasant writing experience. So it yields ever so slightly. It's not a flex nib. It's not a super soft nib, but you can get a bit of variation. But like free weight, just perfect. Keeps up well with fast writing. Really a lovely writing experience. And again, like the pen itself is not one that I'm super attracted to, but it's really comfortable in hand. I think maybe I would like the black version better. Like it might be a little more subtle, but it's really nice. So I have to say Cross, good job with this. And if you have not really considered one before, I would take a look at these because overall, super comfortable, feels really good in hand, it's well made, it's put together really well, and the writing experience is really pleasant. So there you go. Uh, a couple details. The cap, it's securely screw shut, but what it also does by doing that is it gives it a really good seal and the nib does not dry out easily. So again, if you're looking for something you can just pick up and write with at work, this is a great option. I really like it. So it would be really cool if they would do this nib like on more pens, but again, really comfortable in hand. Um, yeah, quite decent. So there you go. I hope that was useful. I think Cross is um, doing something really nice with these. Thank you to Applebaum Pennant for lending me this pen. If you did enjoy, if you found this useful, please like and subscribe. I would be so grateful. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Patreon, and Instagram as Gourmet Pens. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time. Bye.